Hi guys, good morning. This is a video of our travel trailer inside um, setup and some mods that we've done over the years. I'm going to start with you in the bedroom, master bedroom. Uh, basically, we just uh, changed out the mattress to a better mattress than the one from the factory. Uh, command hooks, command caddies, whatnot, up here have been great for our storage hats and everything like that my wife's side with her hats over here we installed this fan from home depot we just drilled it into the the board up top and it provides more air to the bedroom area we still, we still have really good ducts of air but the fresh air moving through helps a lot when it gets warm at night um up here we just have These lights we installed, both my side and my wife's side as well. A uh, good friend of ours installed these shelves a few months ago. It just helps, you know, divide things out a little bit better. So, looks good there. Turn these off. We have up top, we have more storage up top. And another light. Okay. We'll go over here to the trash can area right here. This mod, this uh, camper, the surveyor, came with a built-in, I guess, hideaway trash um, bin area. You put your trash in here, and the trash can is right below here. I'll show you that from this angle. And there it is. See that? An extra light here, just so we can see it's just you new. Know, in here at night and look at things that we need a trash bag or some foil or whatever so flash water hanger this is really good as well this is our um, paper bags holder dispenser we use this a lot so over here to the command entertainment center dvd player and apple tv hooked up more, more command goodies here as well. DVD storage up top. More controls above that. Okay. <clears throat> On this side we have our manuals and whatnot. We have our power station here. Some keys and instructions, how to, how to run a couple things here. Wi-Fi booster, surf checker, codes, whatnot. Okay, over here we have just some more decorative pictures and a light. We got our boogie lights for remote controls up here. We have our, our Mopika sensor right here. Just how much gas is left in the tanks. Okay. We have a level hooked up here just by magnetic. To the, to the uh the wall key storage area as well from command okay we had the extra cushion made um this past week that fits and it kind of matches our our cushion in the back typically what happens at night when, when we sleep out here or some whoever who sleeps out here we take these cushions off and it makes a you know a third part of the uh the bed well it wasn't comfortable so we asked, actually had a guy make this the duplicate of what we already have and i think it will just sleep better at night i think it looks better too it looks better as well decorative pillows up here we have um <clears throat> we have we just have some bins I think, we have, I think we have like seven or eight, and it just goes the length of the upper storage. Has knickknacks in it, has just supplies, things of that matter. Yeah, but they're very helpful to have. Yeah. This is a great item to have. It's a dehumidifier. It gets any type of moisture that's in your camper when it's in storage. And it's hot and gets it it gets it trapped in here 
you just dump it out whenever it's full it's still running so it's a green light when you see it go to an orange light that means it's full and ready to dump it out so i grade our our faucet last year as well a little more cost effective we have a magnetic paper towel holder as well top there's more lights and things here as well Temperature gauge from Thermo Pro, community gauge as well. Star of the show is the very bottom here. This is our Progressive Industries built in surge protector. This has saved us quite a few times from breakers being tripped, storms that, that kind of hit the camper uh, power pole in, in the campground, and it really has saved us a lot. Recommend one of these very much. Some more storage in here. Use for our daughter's clothes, which or use for pantry storage. It works real well. This is our full size bunks for both our girls. They're one's twenty and one sixteen. We had USB ports installed this last year. By a good friend. And we use these as well to keep the uh, keep the sun out of their bunk area. Here on the bottom, excuse me, we have, more, we have another USB for our daughter's bottom bunk. Do some storage in the bottom. Okay. Going to the bathroom area. Get some light for you as well. Command towel hooks. They're very good, very sturdy. And here we have, we have these little uh, rods that keep everything uh, stabilized, organized, and basically just when, when travel, they don't fall out. Okay, down here, little towel bar that we put in as well. We do not use this for a shower. Sorry about that. We use the campground shower we use for storage. Okay. We have used Doxygenics before. Works pretty well. More command hooks, everything up here on the wall. You know the drill. This up here has been invaluable. We're gonna try this out for the first time this week. We're, we're gonna go camping tomorrow to, to Riverwalk RV Park on the Yakin River up in Elkin. It's supposed to be in the hundreds this upcoming week. And this is gonna ha hopefully keep some of the heat out of this area. Putting this, I just Velcro this up. Keep it nice and cool in here. <clears throat> Fantastic fan. There you go. Let's head back out here. Refrigerator, pneumatic freezer and refrigerator. All right. Well, I think that's all we've got for in interior mods and a walkthrough of our camper. Like I said, we're heading out tomorrow morning to Riverwalk in Elkin uh, for about five or six nights. And it's going to be hot. It's going to be a hot one. So we're going to you know, obviously keep keep, uh, keep cool as much as we can, stay in the lake, stay in the AC, or definitely not do as much out outdoor activities when it's over 95 degrees during the day. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. This is uh, the Cooking Camping Drummer, John Kirk. Thank you.